Yo, what's up, Green Blood fans? This is Raphael from C Manga, and I'm here to give you three more reviews of Green Bloods. Yes, um, they, as I said this week, they just keep flowing out. Um, this chapter was 41, and it's called Masterpiece, and this chapter is deserving of that title because it was a masterpiece. It was really good to see, um, like, a flashback um, kind of tied in with the present fight. We see Brad Burns, it's like, after the last one he kind of got his ass handed to but in this one he's gotten up and we kind of learn the meaning of why um <clears throat> he kept saying i can see his back and why you shouldn't turn your back and it's like basically it's, it was to do with his training when he was younger uh, training <clears throat> to be the grim reaper and we see edward um edward so dream mcdonald was training him up and taught him certain things like where to hit um and what weak points it's like regardless of size of the person things like that like in the fight he remembers um to hit them in the knee and he stabs the um dodo in the knee and that cripples him completely and brings him to his knees literally he said no matter what um size um, weight anything height anything any kind of um class of person was it didn't matter to because he said that technique would always bring someone down and another technique was to slash underneath the shot, um, the elbows, um, the elbows, so the armpits, because it would basically disable the arms where the muscles are at, from lifting even your own arms up or any sort of weapon. So it was like literally a complete disable of um, disarming the person that he was fighting. And they said all you're left with was basically a piece of meat. And that's what happened to the these arms and he was completely helpless and like Brad literally said to him like you don't turn your back on your enemy until they draw their last breath until they're actually dead and that was the big mistake he made and now that Brad got, and Brad got the upper hand they counter attacked him and he decimated him as I said I thought he would as well so really good to see um, the flashback was really good as well because it was quite emotional to see how Brad that turned into a grim he gave up childhood and happiness you see the Colt um, Python gun he's got um, with the, the knife underneath the barrel and basically you know his signature weapon he uses and this is given to him Gene hoping that he can use it someday and become skilled with it which we know he does and yeah it was like literally it was an initiation for him because he's saying you may think I'm mean um, Brad but this is a life you chose and I can't be good to you you have to accept this kind of um, <coughs> hardship and training and he's saying you know when you go into this kind of business like, and you want to take someone's life you literally got to throw your own away and that's what he did the path to edward king it's like he wants his life he had to throw his away as we saw and um brad didn't mention that before he said luke did but i think luke's a different case he hasn't his whole life or he, he like brad he still got the innocence in him but yeah, I did like this chapter tying in the flashback and seeing how he was um, along with the fight, which helped him fight in um, beat Dodo was really good to see. So, and as I said, as usual, artwork is just brilliant. So, um, looking forward to seeing the f climax and finale of this series is really picking up and building up to that. And yeah, I can't wait for it. So as usual if you guys got any comments and any sort of predictions opinions of how green blood will end or what will happen next leave them in the comments below leave a like if you enjoyed the video and the chapter and subscribe for more content in the channel and i'll speak to you guys in the next chapter